guys, I'm doing Flashlight in the Dark. I'm going to be bringing you guys a book. So, I got a flashlight. Um, so, let's go and grab a book. I will get my book. You guys can see it. You guys can see it. Not really see it, but it's really dark in here. I will get a book. something to do. Of, it's just a Christmas book, but it has a ton of riddles in it. So, let's get started. Okay, so I have the flashlight right here. I probably will need to turn on the light. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the light. Got it. Um, this is a book I'm going to be reading to you guys. So let's get started. So the title is Madeline's Christmas. Madeline's Christmas. Look at the front first. It's cool. Now let me see you. There's the house, and yeah, in an old house in Paris that was covered with linen. Oh, little girls, twelve little girls. That's a ton of kids. In two stuff right there lived the house of half past nine and two three line and Reynolds the small smart one was made Madeline so this is the picture. Let me show you again. That's the picture. This is Madeline over here. Okay, let me get it. I'm going to show you first. So these are the pictures. I'm going to be reading the pages. So let's keep it going. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. And two tigers. Tiger in the zoo. Madeline just said poof, poof. <laughs> it's funny. It was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was screaming. Not even the mouse. So yeah. This is all 12 children. That's a ton. Yeah, I know. It's still a ton of pages. I'm not reading all of them, but I'm going to be reading you guys some. For, I'm reading the book. For like everyone else in the house, which was old, the poor mouse was in bed with a miserable cold. Miserable cold. And only our brave little Madeline, she's mopping. That isn't good. Maybe she should get a break on Christmas. Don't you guys think too? I bet. Was up and about. She was up all night. Look at her. Feel bad. And feeling, right now she's cooking in the kitchen. That ain't good. She has to help all, she has to help everyone. She's not the one who's sick. Look at everybody out there ill. I 
feel bad for Madeline. Okay, just fine. Suddenly came a knock which made her pause. Pause doing her work, you know. So I'll show you the picture. So this is the guy that's at the door. The, the door. Could it possibly Santa Claus? But no. A rug march and was at the door. He had 12 rugs. He had no more. So yeah, this is a guy. He's selling rugs. So, um, so yeah, I'm doing something right now. Who? Who? These, said Madeline, would be so neat for our ice cold in the morning feet. Because their feet are really cold. So he put them inside of the room. It seems to me, said Miss Club. That, that you have chose very well. She is one of the nicest characters in this book. Okay. So I'm going to finish one more page and then I will finish the next one. The next part on later in the page. Med oh, Madeline gave him a handful of for Francis here they are with all or these or these without the rugs which he had sold the rugs march and got us all away cold to sell my rugs. He cried with still without them. I am very chilly. He wanted to get them back, but will he? You guys will see in the next one. Will he get them? Do you guys think he will? Stay tuned.